Yeah, I'd prefer to use an electric fillet knife. It uh, cuts your time in, I would say, half or more. Uh, it takes all the labor and the mess of using a normal fillet knife out of it. This is one of our jumbos here. Let the knife do the work. You can kind of feel the bones there. We're going to angle the knife. Take the meat off the bone. Okay. Female. We got eggs. Okay. Now we're taking, we're adding a little flex to the knife. We're going to take the meat right off the skin, too. Like with ease. Okay, set that aside for now. And we're going to flip her over and do the other side. Same deal, just behind the chicken. Angle the knife, let the knife do the work, no, no pressure on it. Next, we have some bones right here in this little stomach area. We're just going to cut those right out. You're going to feel the bones and cut around them. Just like that. So that is all the bones. So we're left with a nice boneless fillet. We'll do the same thing to this piece. You can kind of see the rib bones right there. I'm going to cut that right out. Now these were the eggs here. Uh, so obviously we had a female fish. That's one way to tell. You can see that. That's all. That fish, that's, it still looks kind of small, but compared to the little ones, but the taste is just is real good. It's worth the uh, dealing with the smallest. This is what made it all worthwhile. You can tell the difference, it's taking longer to get through all that meat. Okay, get the knife through the work. Flip her over. Let the knife do the There we go. Throw that in the good pile. Same deal with this.
feel the bones there. Cut them right out. Now what's left is nice clean boneless fillets. And this right here is, I think it was 14 fish we filleted here. So to get an idea to how much you need to catch to provide a, a meal, this is a nice little taste for a person. to uh, take a sheet of tin foil, get a little coat of olive oil, just a little coating, keep it from sticking and give it a little bit of a little bit of flavor. Coat a little bit there. It doesn't really matter. I like the uh, just a little bit of Cajun seasoning. Yeah, we can just throw these guys right on there. Go ahead and throw some onion in there too. There we go. Okay. Now to give it that sauteed taste, we're going to kind of fold it up. Ready to throw in the broiler. Yeah, it's been about uh, 20 minutes here. We're gonna check out the fish. Mm. Smells good. And the fish is done. It's it's all breaking up. That's how you can tell it's done. Hmm. Excellent. That's good.